Could there be a third-party candidate that could disrupt the Biden versus Trump showdown? It's an intriguing thought, isn't it? As we stand on the cusp of yet another election year, the stage seems set for a Biden-Trump face-off. Yet whispers of potential third-party contenders are beginning to stir the political pot. Can a dark horse emerge from the sidelines, offering an alternative to the two juggernauts of American politics? As we dive deeper, we'll explore the potential impact of a third-party candidate on this electoral face-off. So, who could be the potential third-party candidates? That's the question on many minds as we look ahead to the next presidential election. Let's delve into it, shall we? Ro Khanna, a representative from California, is one name that has been floating around. Khanna is known for championing economic patriotism a stance that emphasizes the importance of domestic industries and job growth. He's a strong supporter of President Biden, but his potential candidacy signifies that he's ready to offer a different perspective to the race, possibly focusing on economic growth and job creation. Then we have Dean Phillips, a representative from Minnesota, who's also considering throwing his hat into the ring. He might not be a household name just yet, but his belief in providing voters with alternatives could be his strength. Phillips is not afraid to suggest that established names like Gretchen Whitmer, the governor of Michigan, or Tim Waltz, governor of Minnesota, could be stronger candidates to take on the likes of Biden and Trump. Whitmer and Waltz, though not yet declared candidates, are also worth considering. Whitmer, known for her handling of the pandemic in Michigan, could bring a focus on health care and women's rights to the race. Waltz, a former educator and veteran, might offer perspectives on education reform and veterans' rights. It's clear that these potential third-party candidates each have unique stances and policies to bring to the table. Whether it's economic patriotism, the importance of voter choice, healthcare reform, or education, these candidates could diversify the political conversation and challenge the status quo. However, it's equally important to remember that third-party candidates have historically faced significant hurdles in U.S. presidential elections. The two-party system is deeply ingrained, and it's a challenge for any third-party candidate to break through that barrier. These third-party candidates present intriguing alternatives, but what could be their impact on the election? That's the next question we'll explore in our journey through the complexities of the upcoming presidential race. The presence of a third-party candidate could drastically change the dynamics of an election. Now you might be asking yourself, how so? Well, let's dive into it. Third-party contenders have the potential to sway the vote in unpredictable ways. While they may not have the same level of support as the major parties, they can, and often do, capture the hearts of undecided voters, or those dissatisfied with the mainstream choices. Now, if you're picturing Biden or Trump pacing in their living rooms at the thought of a third-party candidate, you're not far off the mark. The unpredictability of third-party candidates can indeed cause worry for the main contenders. They can split the vote, causing a major party candidate to lose in a state they might have otherwise won. And in a tightly contested race, this could be the difference between victory and defeat. But let's address the elephant in the room. Do these third-party candidates actually stand a chance of winning the presidency? History tells us that it's unlikely. The last time a third-party candidate won a state was in 1968, and no third-party candidate has ever won a presidential election. But remember, in politics, as in life, nothing is ever set in stone. While the possibility of a third-party candidate winning may seem slim, their presence could still influence the outcome of the election. Their campaigns can highlight issues that the major parties are ignoring or trying to downplay they can force the major parties to reassess their strategies and platforms. So, no matter the outcome, their impact on the political landscape can be substantial. So yes, Biden and Trump should keep an eye on those third-party contenders. After all, in the game of politics, every move counts. The political landscape is ever-changing, and the introduction of a third-party candidate could certainly spice things up. As we've discussed, the potential of a third-party candidate in the looming Biden versus Trump showdown is intriguing. The emergence of a fresh face on the political scene could provide an alternative for voters who are weary of the seemingly never-ending Trump-Biden saga. This new candidate, whoever they may be, could potentially bring a fresh perspective or a different approach that resonates with the populace. Their role is undeniably important as they could cause a shift in the electoral dynamics and potentially influence the policy discourse. 
They could also serve as a catalyst for change within the two major parties, pushing them to innovate and adapt to the evolving political environment. However, the road for third-party candidates is often steep and fraught with challenges. Success will depend on their ability to galvanize support, navigate the complex political landscape, and effectively communicate their vision to a diverse electorate. As we await the elections, one can't help but wonder, could a third-party candidate turn the tables in this Biden versus Trump showdown?